Hello my friends, this is Lisa from Lisa Grateful Me. Welcome to my channel today. Some exciting things are going to be happening and I'm so glad that you stopped by. First of all, I just have to say, if you are a returning subscriber, you know that I always have colored pencils and they're never sharpened. So I made it a goal. I have this cute little box and when I, um, when I saw it, I thought, hmm, what should I do with it? I decided to sharpen all my colored pencils and put them inside this darling box. Now look at that. I mean, talk about turning over a new leaf and it's not even the new year. <laughs> well, everyone, good, like I said, good things are going to happen today. But before we get into the video, I hope if you're new, you'll decide to subscribe because you always get wonderful gifts from me. And I just, because I appreciate all of your love and support. Speaking of love and support, I have two Christmas cards, and one's got an address right here, so I need to cover it up. But I'm going to open this one first, and I am just so grateful for my subscribers who sent this to me. They made my day, and it just, I don't know, it just makes me so happy to think that you guys think about me, and it just, I don't know, it just gives me that warm, fuzzy feeling and I'm full of gratitude. Look how cute this Christmas season greetings. And it says, to Lisa and family, Merry Christmas. May it truly be a blessed one for all of you. From Patsy. And Patsy has a name that she goes by on um, Instagram and on YouTube. And I, don't, I won't share it, but she is my good friend. And I'm so grateful for this. Patsy, I hope you and your family have a fabulous Christmas and that you enjoy spending time with each other and have a wonderful new year. Okay, here's my other mail that I got. This envelope is so pretty. Oh, I don't want to rip it, but she's got it taped down there pretty good. Let's see. There we go. Oh my goodness, how gorgeous. Jesus. He came not to a throne, but to a manger. He lived not as a king, but as a servant. He chose, he chose not a kingdom, but a cross. He gave not just a little, but everything. That is so true. And since it is the holiday time, and this card is so perfect, I know you guys are here for saving challenges and budgeting things, but I love Jesus. I'm so grateful for him, for all the things that he has done for me. And I'm grateful for all the blessings of this this world has to offer because he came into the into the world and gave of himself. So so cute. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to you and your wonderful family. Hi Lisa, I'm one of your many subbies. I'm also the one who sent you the beaded yellow earrings a few months ago. My sister made the earrings. Lainey, I know exactly who this is before I even lift this up. She made me the most beautiful beaded earrings. They were so gorgeous. God bless you all, Lainey. Thank you so much, sweetie. I hope you and your family are doing well, and I just appreciate you thinking of me and sending me such a beautiful Christmas card. I'm going to set that right here so you all can enjoy it. So what's going to be happening today? Well, I finished two mini savings challenges that are going to be stuffed, and then we have money also. So I'm going to pull out my savings challenges. And let's see, I gotta push some of this back because I don't know how in frame all this is gonna be. I'm gonna go like this. And let's hope that I got it right. Okay, we're gonna start off with this dog mini savings challenge. So it's $60 that I saved, and there's 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 52, 54, 56, 58, and 60. And a little extra tracker. I'm not sure where that one came from. So I decided that I would use the money from this little tracker as a stepping stone to complete a bigger goal. And I'm going to stuff my 100 envelope box. Now, this um, box right here are, has all my envelopes in it. And these envelopes were made for, by my good friend, Budget with Cat. And so I just want to shout her out 
And if you want to do the 100 envelope challenge and you want to do the 100, 100 envelope challenge with a twist, she will make these boxes for you. Now, because I've used this before, mine are numbered from one to 100, but you can get it numbered exactly how this chart is. And um, she, she will certainly do that for you. So let's see right here what ones we'll do. Let's see, let's see, I have a 20. So let's do, is there a 20 colored in? Let's just start off with this 20 right here. Is that the closest 20? Nope, there's one right here. Maybe we'll just do three 20s and call it good. Let's see. So there's 20. And I just love these little envelopes. They're perfect, you just fold your money in half and it slides into the box, and then when you're all done, you can pop them out and finish it. Let's see, five, 10, 15, 20, 25. Should we do a 25? You know me, I never like to do things the same. I like to mix it up. So let's get rid of one of the big ones. 25 is the highest number that is in this challenge. Okay, 25. We'll color this one in. I'll color all the envelopes I do today the same color. All right, so 25. Woohoo! One of the big ones gone. Now there's five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wait, yeah. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Let's do a 15. Okay. And add that there, and let's find the next 15. Now this challenge, you can go in order. You know, you can do one, number one and number two. You can do random like me, or you can, you know, set up your own little system. I know some people will roll two dice, and or three dice, and whatever number it is, and then they'll go ahead and do that. So there was really a lot of different ways you can do this challenge. The gist of it is, though, if you want to complete it in a year, you need to do two envelopes a week. But I say, do you. If your budget only allows you to do one envelope a week or one envelope a month, do it. It will add up, and if you start it and keep at it, you will finish it. So, showing this 100 envelope challenge some love. That felt really, really good. And like I said, I wanted to start this. I was going to start it in the new year. But you know me. Sometimes I create things or my daughter-in-law will create a challenge. And I just have to do it because I'm obsessed with it. Okay, moving along. The next one we're going to do da -da -da -da, is our emergency fund. And this emergency fund, remember the donut, the delicious donut savings challenge? It... Um, has $140 in it, and we're going to add that into here. So there's 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 110, 15, 20, 25, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40. Okay, let's see how many clouds we can color. And looky, look at all these. I have just a plethora of colored pencils to choose from. Alrighty. Oh, you know what? Sorry, I'm going to reach over this and grab my binder that's across the table. We need to get this envelope. All right, we got the emergency envelope out. And let's figure this out. So I think the next, let's do 35s if we can. There's 20, 30, 35. Ooh. I'm going to use this blue. So I'm going to put this in here so I don't get my money mixed up and at the end we'll count it. Okay. Let's color this beauty, this wonderful cloud. So I know a lot of people have emergency funds and I know a lot of people do them differently. For me, I know I've said this before and I might sound like a little bit of a broken record, but every year I try to do $1,000 towards my emergency fund. Let's say in the year I use it all. Well, that's okay. Next year I start my $1,000 over again. Let's say I only use half of it. 
Well, next year, I still do $1,000 emergency fund. Every year, my goal is to just do $1,000 and to add upon it as I keep going in my journey in life. Okay, let's see. Let's do 20... 22, 24, 26, 28, 30. A 30 cloud. Okay. Ooh, let's try a different blue. Okay, let's do this. Ooh, you know what? Let's do this 30 right here. This is a challenge that my daughter-in-law created. And let me tell you, it is probably the most important challenge that you could do. Life, you have to have money set aside. Or if you don't for, you know, life's ups and downs, you will end up getting into credit card debt. Or you will end up, you know, faced with a hardship that it, which will be stressful, but will be even more stressful because you don't have money for it. So please... I beg you, do your emergency fund for next year. Okay, what do we got going here? Ooh, let's do another 30. So there's 20, 25, and 30. Man, I love it when I finish my mini savings challenges. Those, I just add a little bit here and there. And look, before I know it, I have enough money to add quite a bit to one of my bigger challenges. It just feels so good. I know some people kind of laugh like, you're doing what? You're doing a mini savings challenge to fund a big one? You bet I am, because it keeps me motivated and I love it, it's what I like to do. Okay, how much do we have left? Ooh, you know what, I need to break, I'm gonna break this 20 down. Wow, there's a lot of money in here. Let's see. I need, is there any more fives? Okay, one more. Hmm, okay. All right, you know what? We're gonna put all that money back in there and we're gonna go to this envelope and get some change, because I know that there's some in here. Okay, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right. Okay, I have money flying everywhere. Please tell me, everyone, that I did that right. <laughs> Please, please, please. <laughs> okay. So, I don't think I did that right. Oh my gosh. What did I just do? Okay. I'm just going to do, do that. I'm going to put all the rest of the money back in here and then I will count it up later and watch my video and see what I did. Seriously, you guys, I drive myself crazy. I start getting money out and then I just go cuckoo. Okay, so I'm gonna add, do another cloud for $30. Ay, yeah, yeah. what did I do? Okay, I'm gonna color this one in. I'm just gonna roll with it. Mistakes happen, right? In life, when you make a mistake, oh my gosh, I'm the perfect channel to teach you this. In life, when you make a mistake, you just keep going and you figure it out as you go and it all works out in the end and as long as you keep that forward progress. So I just kept this going, forward progress. All righty. So added 140, kinda, I think, to my emergency fund today. Don't worry, subscribers, I will go back and see what I did and fix it. We added $60 to our 100 envelope challenge. That was fabulous. And now for the big moment, when we are going to be doing our slot savings challenge, this challenge has to do with how many subscribers I received in a one week time. And I am happy to say since last week, 
I've earned 96 new subscribers. Welcome, welcome to all of you new subscribers. I so appreciate you. And my returning subscribers, you know how much I love you already. And I'm so glad that you're here and you stopped by. So I need to get $96 out. and My money's kind of all jumbled. So let me kind of put it together here. And we will go from there. So here we go. 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90, 95, and one dollar makes 96 dollars. That is fabulous. So, are we almost to 4,000 subscribers? You bet we are. We're only like a hundred and something away, which means that it's very, very soon you will be able to get this free savings challenge from me as a thank you for subscribing. Um, not only do you get this savings challenge, but you get the matching envelope and you'll get to go ahead and just click the link in my description when I hit the 4,000 subscribers and you'll be able to click the link and be able to print it off. So we get to color in 96 today. So let's get going. There's 19 and one is 20. So there's our first 20. Here's our second 20, which would make 40. Ooh, I have so many choices, it's so fun. Here's this challenge, I mean this 19, and one, that's another 20, makes 60. Ooh, I need a red, let's do this. 60, and this one is 80. And let's do a 10 for 90, a 5 for 95. Uh-oh, all my ones are gone. I'm going to do, that's 95, 96, 97. I'm going to do one extra, so I need one of you to subscribe right now so I get this right. And I need to add an extra dollar to this envelope. And let's count how much money is in here. I mean, it is so exciting. Of course, there's 500 in the bank, and all of this is just jumbled, jumbled. So give me just one minute, and I will get it straightened out. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Do you guys put your money away like me? I don't know what the deal is, but I put it away all crazy. Okay, here we go. So $500, 20, 40, 60, 80, 600, 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, uh, 650, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65. 665 dollars. That is absolutely fantastic. Thank you everyone, I so greatly appreciate it. All right, moving on to the last challenge that we will be doing today is our Christmas challenge. Tis the season and talk about Christmas. Everyone, I wish you the best Christmas ever. I wish you joy. I wish you laughter. I wish you happiness. I wish you good food. And I wish you all the things, all the good things of this life. So with that being said, oh, I'm coloring. I didn't even tell you how much we're putting in. We're going to do 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. We're gonna put $30 into this challenge, which will make it so we're almost done, but not quite. I think we might have like one icon left. So there we go. I just finished doing all of my neighbor gifts and they're passed out. All of my um, gifts are done and under the tree and that makes me so happy. I have a Christmas Eve breakfast at my home. And then that night we have a Christmas Eve party at my mama's. 
And then Christmas Day, of course, we have Christmas together. It's a little more relaxed because we have just have done all of our partying. And um, Christmas Day is just to unwind and to enjoy each other. And I am looking so forward to this. I'm looking to see the smiles on my grandbabies' faces when they open their presents. Oh my goodness, I can't wait for to see their eyes light up. And they're at that age where you can give them just about anything and they are so happy. And so I cannot wait to see their smiles and see their reactions. Oh, and I can't wait to get their little loves and hugs and kisses. And I can't wait to see my big boys. You know, I have five sons. I don't know if you guys know this about me. And they're old. They're, you know, all of them are married but one. And my baby is a junior in high school. And there's something about boys and how they love their mamas. I have boys that just love me. They always tell me they love me. They call me. We go out on dates. We go out on drink dates. And by what I mean by that is we get and we, I go pick them up. And we go get their favorite soda. There's lots of soda shops in Utah where we live. And we go and we get their favorite soda. And we sit there and we talk while we drink their, our sodas. And it's just a little thing. But it is such a joyous thing. I just love it. And I'm so grateful for my children. So this challenge when it's complete is $75. And... And I think we should have 70 in here. So let's count it. Okay. Here we go. 20, 40, 45, 50, 55. 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, and 70 dollars. That means next week we will close out the last week in December by coloring this last gingerbread man and finishing this savings challenge. This savings challenge is going to go for my sinking funds for the new year. And so that will be absolutely perfect. Actually, it's going to go to my month ahead binder. So I am grateful to be able to go ahead and revisit that binder in the new year. And I can't wait in the next video to share with you some of my goals and what my channel is going to look like for the new year. Well, everyone, I hope you have a fabulous, fabulous Christmas. I hope you have a fabulous holiday. And I will see you on Friday for a short little video. And until then, be safe and be grateful. Bye.